Yeah, I feel like we did pretty well. I mean, defensively and offensively, we guarded the way we practiced to guard, and then offensively, we executed the way we wanted to execute. I mean, they took me away for a while. They were trying to get in front and then behind, so it was hard to get the ball into me. But we still executed our drive into the lane, and I feel like we had a lot of the mismatches with size-wise, but they, they had some good athletes, and so we just tried to guard them and keep them off the point, keep, keep them off the board. You guys really came out strong at that third quarter. Anything particularly, you guys just did a little bit better at that point? That you got that 15 point lead there? Uh, not really. I mean, we, uh, we chose our defense to man another man. We manned another player, and then we, uh, the zone, we uh, played another two man zone. And so we had three denying the ball, and then two zoning. So uh, we just changed up one little thing, and then that's a, a good outcome from that. Keep talking about the third quarter when you guys really pulled away from you got a lot of open looks at the basket. You hit a couple guys up for wide open layups. Yeah, I mean, they started to add, try to add some pressure, and whenever they come up the floor real hard, we can uh, we can uh, pass the ball to open spots and eventually get an open layup if they're going <coughs> to come out with some pressure. Defensively, is there anything in particular that's your kind of key to stopping them? Those guys have a lot of quickness, um, a lot of shooting ability. Well, with uh, Sylvester and Pickett, we, uh, we basically just try to deny the ball and not let them get the ball at all. And, uh, I mean, I think Pickett had 10 points, and I don't know how much Sylvester had, but I mean, Pick, uh, uh, Pickett averages 23 points a game. We held him to, what, 8, 10 points? And that's, I mean, that's credit to Chris Colley, Sam Green, and uh, Kev Schumer out there guarding their butts off. So. I know we talked a little bit about this last week, but you're still kind of getting your feet wet, still kind of making that transition to yeah. basketball. It's, it's doing better, yeah. It's just starting to feel a lot better. And, uh, I mean, we practice hard every day. I mean, you guys have seen practice. Coach Waldo holds a strict practice. Uh, it's going to happen sooner or later, and it's, it's going well so far. What's the toughest part of it for you? To, any particular part of the game is the toughest for you to make? Uh, just game? getting my uh, my breathing back, uh, being able to run up and down the court and just breathe with it. And so once I start being able to handle the uh, moving, then I mean, I'll be I'll be all right. I feel like I did I did well pretty day because I, uh, I did well today because uh, I, I didn't feel like I was breathing as hard. And uh, I was stayed on the floor, so it was good. All right, appreciate it. One of the big offers in football. Talk about Alabama. Is that going to be bigger for you than any other ones? Um, I really, I, I, I really enjoyed talking to the coach, and uh, it was really good to finally hear something from them. I mean, I've, uh, I've kind of heard some stuff on Twitter from them, and uh, it was a big surprise. I didn't really think uh, they were even interested, and then they show up at school one day, and then uh, they offered me. So I mean, it was a good surprise, and I was happy to get, happy to have it. I mean, of course, I'll have them. I'll have them in the running to the end. I mean, they're a good football program and they're a good school and they can have a lot of success. So we'll just try to keep them in there as long as we can. Did you talk to the new Mizzou coach as well? Yeah, uh, Coach Odom. He came in uh, Monday, so yesterday. Um, he, he's real nice. I like him. I've, I've met him before, but I mean, Mizzou has always had a pretty solid defense. I mean, of course, they, they did struggle this year, but I mean, they had some problems uh, on the team and outside and with Coach Pinkle. But, uh, they, they, they did pretty well, uh, considering their uh, circumstances they had. I mean, they did they did as good as they could. And I feel like they played well. They're in a tough conference and they play tough teams. So, 